Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. Exactly 2.5 years ago, I picked up Python as my first programming language and I learned it completely in just 30 days. In this video, I want to talk about exactly what resources I used, how did I practice Python and what projects I built at the end of all of my learnings. After learning about Python and building projects in it, I went on to teach it to hundreds of school students and I was able to do that because my fundamentals were clear. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. It was back in 2019, I had given my JE Advanced exam and I was free to explore my interests. The first thing I picked was programming and the first language I chose was Python itself. And this is the course that I took to learn about Python. I knew I wanted a course and not some YouTube playlist because yes, it's going to be for free, but I would just not be able to get the best content in the most structured format itself. So that's why I went for a course to learn this programming language initially, right? So as you can see, this course I purchased back in July 12, 2019, which is just one day before my birthday, which is on 13 July. Now, this course is called as Python Bootcamp from Zero to Hero in Python taken by Jose Portela. Now this instructor is really nice with the way he explains all the concepts in very simple terms. The way he talks, the way he gives you examples is very much clear and concise. As you can see, 14 lakh students have actually taken this course right here and I was one of them as well. Now let me show you exactly what do you get in this course and if you stick till the end of this video, I'll also be talking about some free resources that I used to learn about Python, right? So stick till the end, make sure that you also hit the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. So this is the course content as you can see, it's about 22 hours in length, which is a lot. 155 lectures, first of all, they just take you to the course, what exactly will you be learning in here? Then they help you out with installing Python and particularly they'll be using Jupyter Notebook throughout this whole course. Yes, they are also using Sublime Text, but the majority of the explanation happens in Jupyter Notebook. The best part about using Jupyter Notebook, in my opinion, is the easy to understand UI. And because you have cells, so you can very easily experiment with some code and see how it is working. And that is the good part about it. Of course, you can also use Sublime Text if that is what you want to go ahead with. You can also learn Python on your mobile as well as tablet with the help of Jupyter Notebook by just going online, just searching for the website and you can get started with the help of that. The next section is about data structure. So as you can see, they talk about numbers, they talk about, you know, strings, variable assignments. They also talk about indexing and slicing with strings. They also talk about splicing. And all of these are the very basic concepts that you need to know about data structures in Python. So this is really important, formatting with strings, uh, they also talk about lists in Python, dictionaries in Python, sets, tuples, all the major ways for you to interact with data is talked about in this particular section itself. They also talk about booleans, they talk about IO, input IO for basic files that you will be having. And then they also talk about basic comparison operators that you would be having. Then we go to the very basic logical concepts of a programming language like Python, which is its statements. So if elif statements, else statements, you also learn about for loops, about while loops, about using operators in Python, what is a list comprehension is also explained right here. The good part is that you'll also be having plenty of quizzes to go through and a lot of exercises are shared with you, right, in this complete course. So you go through a lecture, you get a couple of exercises that they make you solve and then they give you some questions that you need to solve yourself. They also have solutions that you can refer to later on. You learn about declaring functions with the help of the DEF keyword, you learn about the return statement, you learn about all of the basic concepts related to building your own function in Python, right? Then they also talk about tuple unpacking. They talk about interactions with Python functions. They also give you multiple examples of how functions can be created and can be referenced throughout the program that you are building. So this is basically how it works. They also touch upon the concept of arguments and keyword arguments, quags and args, as you can see right here. And then they give you multiple practice exercises, as you can see, right? So as I told you before, it's all about application. This course is, I would say 20 to 30% lectures and most of it is all about applying your learning. Now there is just one problem with courses like these. What if you get stuck and don't know what to do next? 
that is where you can take a look at this video sponsor coding ninjas coding ninjas is one of the largest edtech companies in the coding education space having taught over 50000 students so far you get to have one on one doubt support the courses are created by people from facebook and amazon and you also get a dedicated placement cell to get opportunities now coding ninjas is coming up with a scholarship test where you can get up to 100% scholarship on all of their courses everyone who signs up for this test will get amazing benefits like a 1500 rupee interview preparation book for completely free the test is happening on the 20th and 21st february 9 pm if you miss the test on the 20th feb you can take it on the 21st on the same time the test contains 30 aptitude questions and you do not need to know how to code check out the link in the description and use my code ishan to get a 50% discount on the application fees which is just 100 rupees so do take a look at this and now let's get back to the video and then you go on to build a milestone project in which you have to display information you have to accept user input validate the user input so all of these things you have to do for this first milestone project itself afterwards you go on to the more important concept in programming which is object oriented programming in which you first of all learn about how can you create an object what are classes what are the differences what are attributes and class keyword as you can see right here you also learn about oop concepts like inheritance and polymorphism in this section itself and then of course we have a bunch of homework solutions exercises that you need to complete then we also learn about modules and packages as you can see right how can you create your own package what is a module what are the differences you will learn with the help of this you'll also learn about this common thing that you might have seen if name equal to equal to main what does that really mean and how does it really work the next section is about understanding how to handle errors and exceptions so if you first of all learn about try accept else and finally block of code and how can you implement it they have shown you multiple examples so that you can understand this properly and then you also learn about this thing called as pylint and how can you properly format your code in the python program that you're creating and then we have the milestone project as you can see the course is all about applying as much as possible and not as much about you know looking at lectures and just you know making notes or something it's all about applying i think that is the best part about it then we go on to learn about python decorators as well as python generators after that you learn about advanced python modules right so these are some more modules that you can learn about so for example the os module you learn about the date time module you also learn about the python math module and random module obviously you also learn about the debugger and how it really works and then you have regular expressions regex in python and of course they'll be having a bunch of exercises that you can solve along the way as well and this is a great section for you to learn about the different possibilities with the help of python the next few modules are all about exploring the different applications in python so for example you have something called as web scraping in which you try to get some data out of a website with the help of python so in this case you will be using the request library as well as the beautiful soup library and the url parser that you are using in this case so this is basically what you will learn over here as you can see how do you grab a title how do you grab an image from a website how do you grab a particular class this goes on to web development, HTML, CSS, selectors and classes. So that is basically how that works. Then you learn about working with images in Python in which they talk about the Python imaging library, the PIL library. How can you use it? How can you interact with images? What all can you do with it is explained in this module itself, right? Moving on, you also have working with PDFs and spreadsheets, CSV files and you have emails with python as well so you have this module called as the smtp client you can use it and you can then send emails with the help of python then of course you have the final capstone python project they basically give you a hundred different project ideas that you can build all of these projects can be built within a day itself which i think is a great practice for you if you are trying to build a project in python then of course you have advanced python objects and data structures in which you learn about advanced numbers strings sets dictionaries and this is also an important part and of course at the end you learn about ipy widgets uh, which is a way for you to basically get certain elements in your program itself this is for building graphical user interfaces with the help of python you also have something called as tickinter which they have not covered over here this is basically the whole course. I learned a lot from this course itself. And of course, I got myself the certificate of this course as well, which can be useful, but I like to focus more on the projects I built with the help of Python. So this is the whole course. I spent about three to four hours every single day on this course to learn about Python programming language. And I was able to complete it in a span of 30 days. Now, one more important thing is that 
back when I was learning, I was not having all of these additional material as you can see, right? Emails with Python, uh, working with PDFs and spreadsheet CSV files, working with images in Python. All of these modules were not a part of the course when I was learning it in 2019, which means that this course is regularly updated and you will be getting more content later on as well, which is a great part about this course. So once I learned about Python and all the underlying concepts, I built a variety of different projects with the help of it. As you can see on the screen, I built a Flappy Bird game in which the Flappy Bird automatically plays the game itself with the help of a reinforcement learning model. I built a hangman game, I built tic-tac-toe, I built ping pong, snake game, MNIST model. I use the PIL module and TechEnter to build myself an image viewer as well as an image slider. I built myself a very simple web scraper. I also built a way for me to download YouTube videos. I also built a way for me to, you know, download Instagram posts. I also built a very simple version of the Mario game with the help of Python. And I use the Pygame module to do that. So these are all the different projects I created. There are many more, but I'm just able to remember these for now. But this is what I built. I learned a lot about how to apply whatever I've learned from the lectures to actually building stuff from scratch with the help of Python, which is, I think, a really important skill for every developer out there. I hope that this video helps motivate you. Go out there, learn as much as possible. You can take a look at this course with the link in the description. If you are someone trying to learn to code and Python is the first programming language that you want to start with, then this can be a great starting point for you. Go take a look at this course. I also use this programming channel called as Tech with Tim to learn about the different applications of Python. So for example, how to use Pygame in Python and how to build your own games. I learned that with the help of Tech with Tim's channel. I also had Tech with Tim on my own channel two years ago. So you can take a look at that video as well if you're interested. It's all about learning the basics, learning about OOP concepts, and then looking at different modules with which you can build projects in Python. Now there is a lot more that you can cover up in Python. For example, you can go into data science. You can also go into machine learning. The same instructor, Jose Portela, also has courses on machine learning and data science that you can check out. And as you can see, all of these are very much affordable, 400 rupees, 500 rupee courses, very much affordable and high quality courses, which are regularly updated. So do take a look at this if you're interested. I hope that this video helps you. Do let me know if you have any questions about what all I learned in Python in the comment section as well. Make sure that you share this video with a friend of yours. And that is basically all that I have for you. You can also take a look at the other two courses on machine learning and data science with the link in the description. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much. You can follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. You can share this video, tag me on social. I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you're still watching, just write I was till the very end in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.